Hello YouTubers, I am Lorinda from the Williams Homestead and um, I just wanted to touch a little bit about what you can do right now as a gardener, as somebody who doesn't know how to garden, uh, what you can do and what plants you can get right now at Home Depot or at your local nursery uh, to be able to have some fresh produce in your home. So either you can do container gardening. Um, so like right here, I have um, a tree, a loquat, and I have cilantro. And I have grow bags, which as you can see, I have grow bags. So you can either do that or you can do just a pot if you have a little pot. Um, one thing um, I want to talk about is lettuce. Lettuce is like a come again product or uh, produce. So what you can do is actually uh, go to Home Depot, already gr grown veggies. You get your lettuce or if you have seed, I mean, it'll happen real fast, but if you want it quicker, which that's what the whole name of the game is right now. So you just cut your lettuce and it'll just keep coming back and keep coming back. So this is one of the crops that you could do that with. The other thing, um, because we need uh, flavor in our food. So what we want to do also is uh, green onions, green onions. Go to your local market. I mean, you can do this with any green onions, uh, leeks, green onions. Uh, the Mexican onion, green onions, you cannot do it with because they cut off the uh, actual um, roots. So all you do is, you see right here is a couple of them that, I, that I've that i done. Uh, so I used them and I cut them right here and now they're growing again. All these have been cut at one time or another. So you can cut them and you can go ahead and it'll just keep coming back and back. And any green onions that you have right now in your refrigerator that are yellow, if you put them in a pot of soil, doesn't matter what, you can use any kind of soil, any kind of potting soil. Green onions are so easy to do. So you just stick them in the green onion, in the pot of soil, and believe it or not, they'll start turning green and they'll start growing and they'll start being looking even better than they did when you bought them. So they're just something that you can just keep cutting, cutting, cutting. Uh, any kind of greens. Now, uh, chard, this is chard, that's taking a while to grow. As you can see right here, it's taking a while for it to grow. So this is not something that'll come up right away, all right? Collards, believe it or not, these babies here, they were just trimmed. Now look at them. They're starting to grow like crazy again. So collards is another really good one. If you've already started it, or if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or your local nursery, you can get these products and just stick them in the ground or in a pot. You don't need to, and just water it every you know little bit. You don't wanna overdo it. Uh, you want well drainage soil. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. Let's see, what else do we have over here that's pretty easy? Um, mint, so if you like to have some of your herbs, mint is another really easy one to take off. This is chocolate mint, so this is really good. I have uh, regular mint on the other side as well. Um, if you can go down and get a tomato plant that's already pretty grown, um, that's another thing that you can start. You can, and, and if you um, would go with the little cherry tomatoes, uh, those will grow faster than your normal tomatoes. So go for the small little tomatoes because those will grow in abundance and will keep coming and coming. And, um, and yeah, anyway, so that's just something. Um, celery is another thing. If you have a celery uh, that's in your house that you used already and you got maybe about that much left, uh, take it and put it in a glass of water and just let the roots come and then you can uh, take it and put it in a pot later and it'll just keep growing and you just cut it as you need it and and uh, yeah it's it's that simple believe it or not um, help your family take the initiative go to your local nursery your garden store we don't know where this thing is going to take us but for time being I say we pull all together 
If you are a gardener, I ask that you get out there and get a community garden, garden going. If you have an empty lot somewhere, take it and make it a community lot because we're gonna need to be together on this. We're gonna need to stay together to make it through this. So please get out there to your local nurseries, pick up some potting mix. Um, neem oil is your organic um, uh, pesticide uh, and it works well. You just put it in a gallon of water, um, spray bottle. Uh, you can do a spray bottle and that'll keep uh, the bugs at bay. Um, and let's see, I'm trying to think of other things that um, you can do uh, that are is that easy. But I think if you could just get out there and get a couple of these things going um, so you could have fresh produce, that would be wonderful. And that would that would help your family tremendously because we don't know where this is going to take us and we don't know if we're not going to have produce uh fresh herbs and things like that so um the one thing i do suggest as well if you think about things dehydrated goods uh i went to costco and bought dehydrated onions because eventually you're going to run out of your onions and that onions and garlic are the first things that um, we put in every dish just about right so my suggestion is to get dehydrated um, onions um, i went ahead and got the chopped garlic i know it's a big no-no but for right now it's it is something that will last for a good while so i did that i do have my own garlic growing so i have that too so um what else? Uh, dehydrated, like beef jerky, uh, anything that will last a good while. If you are a canner, I know you're already been canning, so that is another thing if you know how to do. Or dehydrate your herbs if you're a gardener. If you're not a gardener, you could if you have a dehydration machine, uh, dehydrate your your uh, meat into beef jerky. Uh, can your meat if uh, you have an overabundance um, in case your freezer goes out you can always can uh, there's just a lot of things that you can do or dehydrate your meat um, to make beef jerky so there's there's a lot of things that you could do uh, I will post more things but I just wanted to get that out there in this world to let people know that there are things that you can do uh, don't wait you know, as everybody does, right? They wait the last minute. They think, oh, it's not gonna happen to us. Oh, it's not gonna get that bad. Just be on the safe side. Is it gonna kill you to get out there and buy a thing of, of lettuce and just have it, you know, you just keep cutting it as you need it, you know? I mean, is it gonna? I don't think so. <laughs> if anything, it's gonna help you and your family, your loved ones, especially if you have children. They're not gonna understand what's happening. But what you can do is try to give them a little normal normalcy. So that's it for right now. Thank you so much for um, watching my video. Uh, God bless, till the next one.